Welcome back to another app, the news. Today, I want to talk about the gold from the Boston Brown and over time, again, I'm not talking in. Why? Because it creates a lot of drama for the Montreal fans. They accuse Mike Madison, Cole Caulfield, Nick Zuski, or Samuel Montebo. Let's review the gold and let's talk about this situation. What do you think? Who is the responsible of this gold? Let's watch the first part of this gold. Mike Madison attacking the puck right there. Now you can see Zuski at the top of his screen does a curl back. You can see Cole Caulfield does the same thing. Mike Madison is going to cross the red line to the blue line, and you see three white jersey. He keeps controlling the puck. He's coming to the dots right there. He loses control of the puck. Prior to that, his job is all about the risk management with the puck. His best decision should return the puck to Suzuki all the way down and the defense is on a Montreal Canadian. But Madison keeps skating with the puck. Right here, he controls the puck behind the net. He's going to do a cut back around, around the net. And then you have to see Langholm is going to pinch Madison. At this moment, risk management with the puck. Madison could use his back end and rim the puck around the board and give the puck back all the way. The overtime is all about puck position. But obviously, Madison, he got pinched right there and is now a battle one versus one. Many fans said to me, Madison should leave the puck there and go back on defensive. Coca Phil at this moment, guy, is far from the play. And look what Coca Phil does. He stopped and go backwards before to attack the corner. Watch the heavy go. Now Coffee realized, oh, oh, I'm in trouble here. We have a two white jersey again, Madison. I need to help. Now he's coming there. Brad Marchand is at the top of your screen. Nuski, I don't know where he's at this moment. Now Madison battled for the puck right there. Now Coffee decides to attack the corner. Here we go. He's coming to the dots. We have always said, decide for my forward. When I said decide, you have to be always above uh, the opponent players, not to be beside, but above. Now, Coffee is going to go in the corner. He only targeting the puck, not cover the F2. And this is a problem. He curl too close to the players from the inside, play the puck on his back ends. There was a problem because the brass is going to hit the puck prior Caulfield. And this after that is this way. The Boston attacking now. Next key guys, I don't know where he's in. He played defenseman, but he had no cap control. I understand he's not a defenseman, but at least he should be close to Brett Marchand at the blue line. He was not there. Now, go to go there. Now, Marchand is a great hockey player. He realized is a 2-1. He sees his key. He's not a defenseman at the end of the day. He's never going to be a defenseman. And then, watch Samuel Montembo. The problem, Montembo is going to drop down too fast with a T-push before the brush make a, a move. Right here. Watch the great pass to Marchand. Now, the brush get a puck. Look, Montembo now. He read the puck. He's going to do a T-push. Let, look his right pad. Boom. He's already down. And the brush is still attacking the net. He's going to get beat on the back ends right away. He have no chance for Montebo to stop his movement lateral from the left to the right. And that's happening, guys. That is the goal you got the, from the Boston Bruins. And that's the problem. What happening during that goal? Now, my question to you is, do you think it's a Mike Madison? Cole Caulfield, Nick Ski, or Samuel Montembo responsible of this goal. What do you think, coach? I'll be honest with you. I will believe it's a team concept. Every goal is not only one player. Yes, sometimes you create a turnover at the blind, then the guy going to break away. But that play, guys, this is a Mike Madison problem. Risk management with a puck. Secondly, Cole Caulfield did not play well to try to get a puck and to play defensively to be sure he covered the F2. Thirdly, Nick Ski never been close to Brett Marchand to cover him. And fourthly, Samuel Montembeau go down too quick and he opened the chance to Jake DeBrus to go to the forehand to the back ends and he never recovered for his T-push, Samuel Montembeau. So at the end of the day, guys, 
All of them are responsible of this goal, of a slay. And that goal it gave the W for the Boston Bruins, but it's called 2 1 against the Montreal Canadiens. I would love to hear from you below this video. Let me know what you think about that goal for the Boston Bruins. Until the next time, my friend, remember. Don't forget to click on the like, subscribe, leave me a comment about this video. And of course, you have greatness inside of you. And we wish you an amazing, great, blessed day, everybody. Mm -hmm.